Hello and welcome to Westwood News Now. I'm your host, Connor Lynch, here to recap and preview all things Westwood. To ring in the new year, the Rec Center will be hosting a fireworks show at the high school. The evening will start at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, December 31st, and all are welcome to attend. During Monday night's select board meeting, a discussion was held on the 2020 town meeting warrant articles. The planning board plans to submit eight articles, including removing the Islington Fire Station and Morrison Field out of an overlay district, an article to address firearms and explosive sales, and a moratorium on residential construction. Other articles being considered include a road improvement bond from the DPW and fire alarm system regulations from our fire department. A conversation was also held concerning potential referendum questions, which includes a ban on plastic straws, bags, and bottles, and a push to sell organic foods in the schools. The warrant will be closed on January 6th. The Westwood Fire Department recently announced that it received a $2,500 turnout year grant from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security and the Department of Fire Services. These funds will be used to purchase hoods and gloves for personal protection during firefighting operations. On Saturday, a blood drive will be held at the Westwood Masons from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. The drive is a collaboration between Masons, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Brigham and Women's, and the Kraft Family Blood Donor Center. Those interested can call 617-632-3206 or email blooddonor at partners.org to make an appointment or ask questions. The blood drive will also feature a pancake breakfast. Due to the holiday hours, the library will be closed at 1 p.m. on December 24th and all day on December 25th. This will repeat the following week with the library closing early on New Year's Eve and all day on January 1st. The Council on Aging similarly will be closed at noon time on Christmas Eve and will be closed on Christmas Day and the day after. The center will be open on Friday, but with no active classes. The center will again close at noon on New Year's Eve and be closed on New Year's Day. Next week, there are currently no scheduled government meetings, but any additional meetings will be advertised on the town's website, so be sure to check there during the holiday for any updates. And that's going to do it for us this week on Westwood News Now. Episodes premiere every Friday, so tune in next week for more news. Thank you for watching.